20 things for you to do this month. Do the tree thing. <laughs> what does that even mean? It only looks this magical outside once a year, so get out there and enjoy it. Gather your girls after work and go ice skating, gaze at the holiday lights, and geek out. Geek, geek out. out? Like, is... What? See, John Green has an excellent quote that's like, basically when you call someone a nerd, you're just saying you're... you enjoy things. Which, like, that, that's just what this is. Like, so, like... Expressing enjoyment for something that's geeking out and like that's supposed to be bad. But geek is cool now, Hannah. That's true. Does that mean more cool? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we've got this article, Fancy Pants, um, and it has a bunch of fancy, fancy pants. pants. I like the entirely sequined ones. Okay, so then up here, it's got a little, a little <laughs> section that says, uh, if you're boyish, Choose patterns oh. that are extra bright and busy. They'll play up your curves. Go for a pair of the slim tapered cut so the pants don't overwhelm your frame. Boyish? Boyish? Like, boyish? Oh, uh, let's stop promoting narrow gender norms. Okay, so just because you're curvy doesn't make you more of a woman. And if you're no. less curvy, it doesn't make you a boy. It just makes you a different shape than... Uh. And also just like the fact that it's like, okay, if you don't look like this specific mold, you need to dress in a way that will make you look like this specific mold. No. That's no. just silly. Just silly. Just silly. Dress however you want, please. Foundation makes the peach fuzz on my face look so obvious. Oh no, you have hair on your body. Isn't that what makes you a mammal? Yeah, yeah, that is what makes you a mammal. <laughs> um, can we stop hating on body hair? Yeah, my legs are so dry. Can I still shave them? Be a feminist. You would have to shave your legs. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, if you want to, go for it. Interesting. Okay, so um, it says what axe marketers know about men. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen the axe commercial that completely like it's photoshopped so that the woman's head doesn't exist and all you can see is just like a large area of cleavage. Uh, um, so what axe marketers know about men is based on the patriarchy, I would argue, because it always plays into like men want sex, yes. which is like yes, 100%. men want sex, but like so women and so. Like, they also want other things. Yeah. Um, and so they spend all this time researching men to know what they want, but they, they also impose, them, like, you know. Like, they're into smelling good. They all want to be the next Tosh.0, oh, and well, the group like, date is in. And also, Tosh.0, oh, like, makes rape jokes, so. No, we don't want anyone to be like Tosh.0. Oh. No. Moral of the story, don't wear acts. This is really interesting. Also, in love, the only kind of man worth marrying. What if I don't want to marry a man? And so the, the, um. the caption is, there's a new breed of guy out there, a lean, mean, dish-doing, and diaper-changing machine. And continuing to excel in your career, even after you have a few mini use, maybe counting contingent on making him your husband. What? <sighs> Nothing in your life needs to depend on a man. What? Okay. What? So a what? woman can only return to work after having children if she marries a certain type of man who will do the dishes and change diapers. All men should change diapers and do dishes because yes. there's nothing wrong with doing those things just no. because women do them. And chances are you're still going to do those things way more often than he does because you're a woman. Yeah, And that's just, just how the world rolls. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff on um, health and fitness, which is nice. It's nice. Except for, like, fat shaming is shitty. Mm -hmm. Because, like, being healthy is good, but, like, exercising yourself and not having proper nutrition in order to maintain a certain body shape is not mm -hmm. cool. Um, also, but, like, this is dumb. Keeping your flow on the down low, basically, like, telling you how to hide your period stuff from your boyfriend if you're at his house. Like, okay, if he loves you, he should be okay with the fact that you are a woman and you have a uterus and your uterus likes to make a house for a baby and then eject that house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's problematic. Like, flushing could clog the toilet, so bury it in the garbage can and hope it doesn't come rolling out when he empties the trash. Yeah, um, like, don't care. Actually, I know the solution to this problem. Huh? Use a diva cup. True. Brad. Also, can we talk about that not all women have vaginas. That's true. Or uteruses. That's and true. And if you don't have a vagina or a uterus, it does not You can you... still be a woman. And um, it doesn't make you less of a woman if you don't have a uterus or you don't have a vagina. Okay, friends. Anyways, this was super fun. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. So if you liked this, then tell us to tell do us. it again. And hopefully there will be some in the near future. Yes. Okay, bye. bye.